What is the Lightning Network and how does it work? Can you really send instantly bitcoins to anyone with no fee? Stay with me in this video and we will answer these questions in a simple and fully understandable way. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and today I invite you to see what the Lightning Network is. This is the fourth of a six video series regarding Bitcoin. We also cover what Bitcoin is, mining, nodes, how to buy and how to store this digital asset. If you haven't seen the first three videos, I highly encourage you to check those two. But why the Lightning Network? Why more than simply Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is an interesting technology because it allows you to transfer money everywhere in the world and it is not controlled by a central authority. Still, it has its limitations. Very often, Bitcoin transactions, especially the small ones, can become really slow and very expensive. Actually, on average, a Bitcoin transaction takes around 10 minutes. But if you don't pay high enough fees, it can take up to a few days. This shows that, as it is today, Bitcoin is not scalable. More than that, at the present moment, the Bitcoin network can process between 2 and 7 transactions per second. This is quite low compared to Visa and MasterCard, and we talk about 1700 transactions per second, and even to PayPal with 200 transactions per second. These remarks make us understand that the Bitcoin network is not suitable for small and fast transactions. They can be too expensive and too time consuming. In this context, people have been searching for solution. The problem was instant, no fee transactions. The solution was the Lightning Network. So, what is this Lightning Network? The Lightning Network represents a set of rules that were added on top of the Bitcoin blockchain and it was specially designed for small transactions. If we consider the Bitcoin blockchain a first layer payment protocol, the Lightning Network is the second layer. It was introduced in 2017 and it is still in development. The main idea is that small transactions don't need to be recorded directly into the blockchain, but somehow outside it. It keeps all advantages Bitcoin has, but it gets rid of the disadvantages. But how does Lightning Network work? Through bi-directional payment channels that are generated by the users. In order to generate such a payment channel, two users have to set a multi-signature Bitcoin wallet and they have to deposit some money in it as some kind of assurance regarding their agreement. Then each user has a copy of the ledger where all transactions between the two of them will be recorded and updated. The setting of the payment channel involves a transaction on the main blockchain. But once created, the channel allows an unlimited number of transactions. They can be easily executed using smart contracts. They have high speed and no fee. When the two users decide they don't want to exchange funds anymore, they simply close the payment channel. This closure also involves a transaction in the main Bitcoin network, as the new balances of the two users have to be integrated in the blockchain. So, even if on a payment channel there have been done a thousand transactions, on the Bitcoin network there will be recorded only two transactions. One for the opening of the payment channel when the users deposit money and one for the closing of the channel when the users withdraw money according to their new balances. All intermediate transactions are instant and free of charge. The Lightning Network also has a protection mechanism. If one user tries to close the channel asking to withdraw more than his actual balance, then the entire Bitcoin amount from the common wallet goes to the second user. This way users are discouraged to commit frauds. But how does the Lightning Network make a difference? Well, one single payment channel between two users actually represents the building block of a network based on these sort of channels. Basically, this means that if two users don't have a direct payment channel, they can still exchange bitcoins through interconnected payment channels. For example, if John wants to send money to Lars, they don't have to open a direct payment channel as long as there is a path between them through the network. If John has an open channel with Eve and Eve also has an open channel with Lars, then John can send Lars money through Eve. Obviously, the routing of the transactions can include many nodes, not just one. In this context, smart contracts will search for the shortest path in the network so that the payment will fulfill. What about the disadvantages of the Lightning Network? 
there are a few inconveniences regarding the Lightning Network T. First of all, a transaction can be done if the recipient is offline. And both opening and closing a payment channel involves a transaction on the main blockchain. I believe it is somehow quite obviously that the Lightning Network has a huge potential to improve Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. However, at the present moment this is not 100% functional and it's still in testing phase. But how can you run a Lightning node? If you're interested in that, you have two main options. Either build the needed hardware setup and make the configuration, or buy a plug-and-play device that does it for you. Each choice has advantages and disadvantages, but please remember that the Lightning Network is not a completely stable product at this moment. So, the Lightning Network solves the scalability problem a cryptocurrency might have, in this case Bitcoin, using an efficient solution that works outside the main blockchain, allowing instant and free transactions. This is all I wanted to tell you about the Lightning Network and I really hope the information here was useful for you. We've got two more videos from this Bitcoin series, so in the next weeks we'll see how to buy and how to store this digital asset. If you have any questions, suggestions or subjects you want me to approach, please let me know in the comment section below or send me an email at infocryptoland at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so you help me spread the word about cryptocurrencies. My name is Christina, thank you for watching.